A ray of light is instant on a transparent glass slab. Refractive index is root 3. If the reflected and refracted rays are mutually perpendicular, what is the angle of incidence? In given question, a light ray incident on a glass slab. We don't know the angle of incidence. Let it be I. We know some part of the light ray is reflected backward. Angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection. Here angle of reflection also equals to I. And after then some part of the light ray refracted through the glass slab. Here this medium is rarer medium and glass is denser medium. Refractive index of the glass is equals to root 3. And refractive index of air is equals to 1. Refracted ray bends towards the normal. This is angle of refraction R. If the reflected and refracted rays are mutually perpendicular, what is the angle of incidence? The angle between reflected ray and refracted ray is 90 degrees. By using this, we have to find out the angle of incidence. Once observe the diagram, this angle is straight angle 180 degrees. Angle of incidence plus 90 degrees plus angle of refraction. Angle I 90 degrees plus angle of refraction is equals to 180 degrees. Angle of refraction is equals to 180 minus 90 minus angle of incidence. 90 minus I. Take the Snell's law at this surface. Mu1 sin I is equals to mu2 sin R. First medium is air medium. Second medium is glass medium. Here refractive index 1. 1 into sin I is equals to. Given refractive index of the class is root 3. Sin. Here we know angle of refraction 90 minus I. Sin 90 minus theta is equals to cos theta. Sin I is equals to root 3 cos I. Sin by cos is equals to tan. Tan I is equals to root 3. Tan 60 degrees is equals to root 3. Then angle of incidence is equals to 60 degrees. First option is correct.